were the first heroes in the war on terror on U.S. soil, and they won their battle in the skies above southwestern Pennsylvania. Forty strangers came together on Flight 93 to successfully prevent the terrorist from reaching their target. A few of them were able to use the air phones on board the plane to call home. And that's when they learned about the crash into the Twin Towers and the Pentagon. And then they were brave enough to take action. Lauren Grancolis was one of those brave passengers. She had an adventurous spirit, as you can see here in this home movie of her skydiving. On September 11th, Lauren was three months pregnant. She and her husband Jack had been trying for a long time to become parents. Lauren had just told her family in New Jersey that she was going to be a mom and was heading back to join Jack in California. She got to the Newark airport early and switched to an earlier flight. Jack woke up and saw the news of the attacks in New York. And then he saw the answering machines blinking light and pressed play, just as he watched the video coming in from the crash in Shanksville. She said, I just want you to know I love you more than anything, and please tell my family I love them too. Goodbye, honey. And at that time, I had the TV on downstairs and saw the hole in Shanksville and um, the report that it was a United 93 out of New York, out of Newark. And that's when I, it hit me and it literally hit me because I fell to the ground. I remember the day like it was yesterday. You know what I mean? You, you can just visualize it in your head. You know, I was working that day and I can remember going to work early in the morning. And the thing that stood out most to me was how blue the sky was that day. That vivid blue sky would soon be clouded with tragedy. While at work, Ken Naki got a call from his wife that his brother, Joey, was on Flight 93. He's not surprised his big brother took on those terrorists. After all, Joey had a Superman tattoo. I've seen him grow up and I saw the man that he was. And honestly, he was afraid of no man. You know what I mean? But I think his um drive that day would just be to get home to have dinner with his family nothing more nothing less gordon felt was desperately trying to reach his brother ed i called his cell phone and said ed when you land you know call us we're, we're concerned moments later he watched television in horror at what happened on his brother's plane they had to somehow gather their thoughts gather their courage we know that they talked about uh, a response, uh, a plan to, to take back control of the plane. Uh, we know they voted on that plan. I mean, what, a, what a, a wonderful tribute to our democracy. We know they prayed. Uh, and then we know that they acted. I'd give anything to have Joey back in this world because the world is not a better place without him and the 39 other passengers and crew member aboard Flight 93. You know, but I think the world is now a little bit safer based on their actions. I mean, certainly, how could you not feel pride in knowing that uh, this first battle uh, in this current war on terrorism was won by 40 individuals that, that barely knew each other uh, that morning. Uh, they were able to rise to the occasion in a moment's notice, the Minutemen uh, of the 21st century and women uh, of the 21st century, they, they fought. Uh, and while they lost their lives, uh, they won the battle. They gave their lives so we can live our lives like it's September 10th.